almost 40% of UK properties selling for more than asking price. But a research from Barrows and Foresters shows that despite the strong market conditions, houses are not going for the full asking price in some area. Let me show you where. Stay tuned. If I can change my life, so can you. Subscribe to my channel and I show you how. My name is Fabrizio Cravero and this channel is all about property investment for the UK and overseas investors. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe because I want to create a community of investors that grows together. But now your time is valuable and let's go straight to the point. There is no doubt that we are in a strong seller market now. With house prices at record level and buyers competing with each other to secure a purchase. However, it seems that there are some areas around Britain where houses are not going for the full asking price. According to Barrows and Forrester research, across Great Britain, the average price reduction of properties that are still on the market is 6.08%, with a potential reduction of £18,000 approximately. But that's only the average, and some areas, surprisingly, shows even higher decrease. As property investors, ideally, we should be buying below market value properties. But in this market, does a real and genuine BMV exist? Rob Moore, the entrepreneur and co-founder of Progressive Property, says, Price and value are very different, and BMV is also not always what it seems. You can pay full asking, but it can be value to you, because you know what it is really worth. You can pay 15-20% to BMV and actually overpay. You can buy BMV and get a deal, or you can pay full asking and overpay. I can't agree more with Rob. Be an open-minded investor. Look at deals in terms of real value that you can create. And of course, price is important, but it's not everything. That said, the regions with the lowest price reduction are the East of England and East Midlands, with a reduction of about 5% only, compared with when they first entered the market, and with a savings of £19,000 and £14,000 respectively. Next, despite having the third lowest percentage drop in Britain, at just 5.5%, London high house prices means buyers can expect to save £45,000 on the originally asking price. I actually have a flat in London that I purchased several years ago, and I must say that I saw a drop, but hasn't been massive, and honestly, I believe that in a few years we will see a rebound of London. I also made a video about this topic. You can check it out after this one and please let me know your thoughts about the future of London properties. Continuing with the research, we find the south of the UK and Wales with a reduction of prices between 5.5 and 6%, followed by the Yorkshire with 6.1%. I start to notice a path here. The more the price increase in the region, the higher is the price reduction. What I believe is that landlords in these regions are aware of the huge demand of houses in the area, and they may be trying to take even higher advantage of the situation by listing their properties at a higher price, but then the market rejects those prices. So this tells me once again that as investors, if we really know our investment area well and the prices there, we cannot be fooled by greedy sellers. So, as always, my suggestion here is to study and spend some time doing your researches before committing to buy a property. And if you want to know the average house prices for each postcode in the 22 major UK cities, you can download for free my latest city guide. I updated the prices at the beginning of 2022 for you to make informed decisions. I leave the link for the free download in the description below. Now, moving on with the research, the next regions with the highest price reductions are the Northwest and the West Midlands, where asking price reductions are averaging 6.1 and 6.2%, offering buyers savings of around 14,000 and 17,000 pounds. 
James Forrester from Barrows and Forrester has another view about the reason for properties in the market will lower asking price expectation in the current market. He says, the reason for this differ from home to home, but it might be down to impatient sellers wanting to move quickly, a structural problem coming to light after the home was already on the market, or a simple case of being situated in one of those rare pockets of low demand. While it is advisable to move quickly in current market conditions, it always pays to do your research. Once again, wise suggestion here. He is talking about finding impatient sellers wanting to move quickly, or what I call motivated seller, and doing your own research. This is the purpose of this channel, to get educated before making any investment decisions. Sorry for the interruption, we get back to the video in a moment. You may be planned to invest in the UK, but you live far away from the area where you want to invest in, or you live overseas like me and you don't know how to do it. I prepared a free training where I show you how you too you can invest in the UK no matter where you live. Join me in this free training, there is a link in the description below, and I'll let you enjoy the rest of the video. But now, let's see where chances are higher to find a motivated seller. Top of the list, we find Scotland, with an average price reduction of 6.8%, and the Northeast, where on average, asking prices are being reduced by 8.3%. With an average regional house price of £202,000 in the Northeast, this reduction marks a potential savings of £17,000 per purchase. 8.3% is quite a high reduction, so don't fall into the FOMO trap, the fear of missing out. Understand the seller's needs and place offers that matches both side criteria. So let me know in the comment below what are the best deal that you managed to get, and if you gain value from this video, I really appreciate if you can press the like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's create a community of investors that grows together. Invest with knowledge, create financial freedom, and I'll see you in the next video.